Hey Evil Dead fans, just a few tips on building the left side of your Ash vs. Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, or Army of Darkness chainsaw. Now first and foremost, we're going to talk about this rod here, uh, the pull string cord. Uh, the handle. First and foremost, I want to say I used to use a 1 inch, uh, but I did notice on all the photos when I did my 100 percenter, it actually is a 3 quarter inch thick, thick dowel. And from this distance from here to here is 3 inches. So that's what you want to have. You want to round down your edges as well. Um, moving on to the handle here. Now the handle is a hard plastic handle. And if you look, it has the perfect roundness on it. Now there's a way to do that. Is What I do is I cut it off exactly where I want my tip to be. And then I round it down, cutting off little edges here and there and kind of sanding it down and getting it close. Then after that, I use my trusty milliput to fill in all those gaps on that edge. Then I sand that down. Now the problem after that is this part's going to be completely uh, untextured compared to the rest of the handle. Now, and you don't want to just cut it off flat, then add a uh, rounded edge with the milliput because hard plastic sometimes um, doesn't like to hold with. It doesn't really hold with a lot of things like any kind of filler so the best thing to do is round it out and then add the milliput so it's filling in those little gaps that you may have overcut uh, shaving it down now once you have the milliput on and you've sanded the milliput you want to retexture it and what I use is the same thing I use with bricks is a textured paint do about two coats of that even though this color is brown I let that dry then I hand paint it black you can use spray paint but I prefer to hand paint it and dab on the black paint because it will actually kind of fill in the spots you may have missed with a, with a small little spots with the texturing. I do about three coats of that and then I seal it with my satin clear and this is the result that you have. It just looks perfect. And one thing you want to make sure you do is you actually want to tape off where that handle inserts into this little sleeve because if you add the paint texturing, it's going to be oversized and it's going to be hard to fit it in there and you may ruin your paint. So you want to make sure that you tape that up, keep it taped until you're completely done. Now this isn't completely finished with the paint just because I like to do final paint, final, final paint when I'm done. I like to put some paint on it, but then once the body's together, then I go ahead and add, you know, add paint where I need to add paint kind of situation. Now you can see there's no gap on the inside, and I'll get to that in a second. Now this little piece right here that attaches to the cuff, it's actually not bolted on the back. I used to bolt it on the back, but I stopped doing that. What I do is I get um, a body bolt that may have been on the chainsaw or, um, a, or a bolt that had the same, has the same head that I'm using. Now I cut that, cut a good length off of it, not too much. And then what I do is I actually glue it in with a nice uh, gel super glue. I put some on the inside of the hole here and actually some on the bolt with the, uh, the strap here. Now you can see this paint's kind of rough. It's not done yet. But to take this panel off, it's very simple. You got one, two, three, four bolts. And this whole piece will pop completely off. Okay, back to this piece I was talking about. Now, I usually paint the bodies red before I actually put this on. I used to use cardboard, but now I actually use a nice sheet foam, a really thin sheet of foam, uh, preferably black. And before I actually put my black detailing on, I put this on so whenever you do, depending on how dark you wanna get it, you can put the paint on inside of it as well and it'll give that nice muddy look that you're looking at looking for. Okay, and you want to make sure that you leave just enough room for this to turn. Um, basically the way to measure that is this lip here to this lip here, lip top to bottom, lip to lip. It's really easy. I think it's four inches by four. I can't remember right now. Okay, these two top uh, tank pieces. I always use the original tanks. I prefer to do that instead of, you know, figuring out another way of doing it. Um, as you can see, I cut them down quite a bit. I used to actually 
leave a lot more tank on it. Um, last one I did with a lot more tank edges on it was the Mutant, and I noticed it caught my finger a little bit, so I stopped doing that method and cut down a lot more. And I used to leave them, leave them free so they would jiggle a little bit to sound like something's in the tank, but it's more of a pain to take apart and put it back together because when you put this panel on, you got to make sure these are held in with your hand or they'll just fall out. So what I started doing is getting that same gel glue and putting on the cap or the tank edges and sliding them through to where they're, um, they're right below that little slot that they fit right into the chainsaw body. And I just let them sit and you wanna make sure they're even or a little lower, a little back from the body because if not, it's gonna uh, push against your top and you don't want that to happen. And as you can see, it's coming along well. It's, it's almost done. I got everything done except for the final paint on the, uh, uh, I'd say the normal body housing. I'm um, just doing a few other things to that. And I should get it in paint by tomorrow evening. This chainsaw should be done. But it's looking great. Um, at the end of this video, I'll, I'll put some pictures along with it. And once again, I do want to apologize. I forgot to put Triple X Gothman Triple X in the last video's comments. So I will do that this time. But here's just some quick tips for you guys on doing this panel. Now, I don't know what people do for this here. Sometimes you can hook it to the body. I prefer just to leave it as a fake bolt because you really don't have to bolt it to the other side of the, of the top if you don't want to. It just depends on how you're building it, but I know this is sometimes a tough panel to build. And you gotta be patient, especially with paint and layering stuff. And it's looking good so far, I'm really impressed with it. I actually like this one a lot more than mine, my 100%er, but you know, I still like mine, but I like this one a little better. I like, I'd say, when you see on the pictures, the back of the top, I was able, able to get that down a little bit lower, uh, more of like a season two, season three kind of look. And I really, really like that. Uh, mostly a season three look at the back of the top. Um, so with that being said, guys, I hope this helped you guys out. And if you have any questions about anything, let me know, and you guys stay groovy.